fuck it, was gonna make a video, but I'll make a video. So, basic seat notch 101. So this video is basically... So, I'll show you guys this uh, seat notch, just basics, one-on-one, -on, -one on how to align it and how to set it up. So after, I'm not gonna show you how to cut it or nothing, because you guys either grinder, plasma, torch, whatever the freak you wanna use, but I'm just gonna show you like a little basic video on how to uh, align your seat notch and where the fuck you want it. So Ines has, well IHC has like, like two, what was it? As a C notch, they're all bolt, mostly all bolts on. They are all bolt on for each truck. So this is an 0718 C notch, 9906 Chevy GMC, also Chevy GMC C notch. See how this one hugs the frame? This one, because it hugs the frame and it has those rails, it has this back plate. This one doesn't. This is just a regular C notch. The bolts on. And I like it because it has this little lip. So it's a little bit more reinforced. So after that, you know, this is the middle. It's the middle. So basic. You come over here, everybody thinks this is the middle. This is where everything's. No. You go off your bed row. So use the bed row, the middle of the bed row. You mark the line down, you scratch the frame or however you want it. So that's that's where the axle axle hits on a difference. It doesn't hit right here for some reason it hits over here. This ain't the middle. So whenever you do the C notch. So this one I'm gonna use this one. 9906. That's what I'm using. I'm using this stupid ass cell phone. You want to mark the little hole it's in the middle to the line. I know you can't see it because of my hand. But you see that little line in the back to that hole? That's the middle. Okay, that's the middle. See notch. So you see how that hole is right there in the middle? You're going to mark it right there. So that's just me guiding it. That's the middle, and you want to move it very little back. So the C-notch is not centered right there. It wants to be a little bit back. Since the axle does move back. So now I marked it, and I know you guys see two lines. So this outer line, this inner line is for the C-notch, for the hole to be centered. And then you put the hole where this line is at, a little bit more back. Then it goes to this line and this line. See how much gap that moved? And that's enough for it not to bottom out here. Because I've, I've done them where the hole is right in the middle, where it needs to be centered. But there's sometimes where this part, little bump stop uh, pattern hits right here. So you need to trim this shit. But if you do it like how I said, you move a little more back, you get it. Not perfect, but right and almost right, almost all the times. So, after everything's cut up, everything's pretty good. Should be able to just put it in, slide it in with the C clamp just to hold it on because you don't have three, four hands. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's the other piece. This is how it looks after it, well, once it's been cut. And I did a pretty good clean cut where I don't need to cut more than I need to. So that's the main goal whenever you do a C-notch. Try to mark it where the C-notch is gonna be, how I showed you, where you sit it in there, 30 mark. I always get something sharp and then just mark it. That's how I marked it in the print in the other, earlier in the video. So I'm pretty good. The other thing too is I use the plasma, so you gotta be pretty good on cutting it straight. There is, I used to always have a tendency of cutting it out, and then by the time you see it, you can see where it's. And then you put the C notch, and it has a big ass gap between the this and the the part of the C notch. So try to get your best as possible, as straight as possible, as steady hand as possible. Because so I did everything by plasma, and it should come out in one piece. Now I make this hole because. 
this is the this is the insole. It's the inside of the C nut, so you need to cut up, cut cut it out too. So yeah. Main goal is just trying to make it as clean as possible. Don't cut as don't cut too much and knowing where to party set it. So I already gave you guys the main point. So this is the main point where the C notch. And then you just move it a little bit back. So you see how it's not centered. It's a little bit back. The line should be like right here where my finger's at. So right there, it's not the perfect C notch, but to me it's perfect C notch. Right here it's not gonna bottom out until it hits. There. So. And there. So I did paint it in the back. The cuts and the holes and everything. I don't want it to rust. This truck came from around here from Texas. Well, I don't think so. It has North Dakota plates. So just a little it's a bed liner, but it's what I have here. So just paint it a little bit, very tight and very pretty good. And just to remind you guys, you see how it's not in the middle. This is my center point. It's a little bit to the back. So now to do the other side. This was the passenger side. So now to do the most dangerous side because of the gas tank, gas, gas tank, but same shit. I wanted to show you guys the end product of the C notch. So this is inside the wheel. You can tell that it sits. You can see it's pretty good. Now this truck ain't that low. It's a four, but it's, it's an extend, it's an extended cap, so the customer is complaining that it bottoms out. But. Uh, Show you, show you, show you guys. I can't really see it. The backside, bottom side of the C notch. See? What I try to say is that cut it less, least as possible. Try to keep this close. Like you might have a gap sometimes or not. It's good, but it's always safer to keep them closer. So try to keep them as clean as possible. And the C notch will last. And then my rule of thumb is if I do a C notch while I'm at it. I'm gonna cut the bed row because most of the time this dude has it right here, the little separator. Most of the time they have a little bracket that bolts up to this one and it mounts up all the way over here and it always hits the bed row. You do the C notch and then the customer complains and comes back, hey, it's bottoming out. Well, it's hitting right there. It's always hitting right there. So that's my rule of thumb. You do a C notch, you do that too. All of them. It doesn't matter what year, what truck. So I just wanted to show you guys. 